when a 21-year-old kid from BC first started out on his journey. A lot of people thought he was crazy too. Him and his unbelievable scheme to run clear across the country on one leg to raise money for cancer. You know, I bet they never figured one day you could travel all the way to India and 50 other countries. And this is what you'd see. Heart, guts, a marathon of hope. All in the name of Terry Fox. Terry Fox was an 18-year-old from British Columbia when he was diagnosed with bone cancer in his right knee. Amputation and chemotherapy left him with an artificial leg and memories of those still in the cancer room. Terry trained on his new leg for 14 months, then told his family he would run east to west across Canada, hoping to raise $1 million for cancer research. I said, why can't you run across British Columbia? And he said, because not only people in BC get cancer. Well, I couldn't argue that. On April 12, 1980, easternmost point of Canada, it began the Marathon of Hope. Terry would do it by running 26 miles. A marathon every single People don't exactly know why he's doing it. Like, I know some people come up to him and said that he, they think he's running across Canada for himself, but a lot of them don't know he's doing it for other people. It's great what he's doing and helping other people. And not going to his best friend Doug Alden, his brother Gerald, following in a support group. 21-year-old Terry would rise at 4 a.m. to run 12 miles in the rest, and do 14 miles in the afternoon. Seeking donations across lonely expanses of the highway. At first, he knew of it. Nathan responded. So he kept running. Crowds got bigger, more money flowed in. Terry now wanted to raise one dollar for every Canadian, twenty-four million dollars. Well, I know I'm gonna dream. I'm gonna dream about the time when I. You know, sometimes after running a lot of pain, I get pretty tired. In Toronto, thousands cheered him. For Canadians, Terry had become an inspirational hero. As he approached the city of Thunder Bay on September 1st, Terry Fox had run 3,339 miles, nearly the distance between Miami and Seattle. He was on this stretch of road at this white marker when he asked to be taken to the hospital. Doctors there examined Terry's lungs and offered a diagnosis. Cancer. Size of a lemon, two of the size of a golf ball, on both sides of his, both his lungs. And that's when he ran 26 miles with the day before, and the day before, and the day before. From a stretcher, Terry shared the news of his diagnosis. The cancer had spread. And now I've got a cancer in my lungs. And uh, we got to go home. And, tr and try and do some more treatment. But, uh, all I can say is uh, if there's any way I can get out there again and finish it, I will. Terry could know his dream of raising one dollar for every Canadian citizen would someday be a reality. When Christmas 1980 drew near, Terry confided to his mother a single regret. And he said, you know, I've raised millions of dollars, and I haven't got a dollar to buy my family a, birth a Christmas present. <sighs> and that was really tough. So his older brother lent him some money, and Terry bought his mother a gift, this pink waste paper basket. It would be their last Christmas together. Terry Fox died on June 28, 1981. He was 22 years old. He 
the entire nation of Canada has never forgotten Terry Fox. In Thunder Bay, this statue remembers Terry in full strength, head up, facing the west, running home. You know, I said before I started the marathon, I said I want to try the impossible to show that it can be done. And in my mind, that's exactly what I did. Terry embodies the most cherished Canadian values. Compassion, commitment, and perseverance. An ordinary Canadian who represents the absolute best of who we are, or at least who we hope we might become. There's no one more inspiring, no one we'd rather cheer for, cry for, or run to the end of the earth for. No one greater than the one we grew to love and lost, Terry Fox. Thank you.